Hey, what you doing, Exa Miner? Oh, nothing. You know, I'm just processing contracts and earning some crypto. That's right. No jump scare for you guys this time. Nerdy Dude Stuff. For those of you keeping track at home, today's Beer of the Day is brought to you by Windmere Brothers Brewing, brewed out of Portland, Oregon, since 1984. This is called Burr Hoppy Red. This is a Northwest Red Ale. This has some nice hop forward flavorings from a nice red ale, and it's got some crisp, refreshing qualities, but a little bit of spice to give it some kind of weird, woodsy slash earthy tones for a red ale. Uh, really kind of the first red ale we have tasted on the channel. So on a scale of 1 to 10, we're giving this one probably about an 8. I do enjoy it, but I am more of that offensive hops IPA style guy. Cheers to you guys. Bink. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to my spoiler review of Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm also just kidding. What's going on? Welcome back to another video about... Cryptocurrency, plug it, play, mining, all that good stuff. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing, turning on the bell, and liking this video. Now, we have been doing some SCP mining. We've been getting a lot of questions from everyone about some of the rewards and how the earnings have been going. There's also a lot of you guys that have been able to get your hands on one, at least get them ordered. Uh, they haven't started shipping them just yet, but you have at least been able to get them ordered, so you should be having one coming come very very soon and that's very 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 exciting to hear and i can't wait till you guys get your hands on them as well so you can have some fun that i'm doing now remember with the one that we have yours by the time you get yours the project actually might be live so the numbers that i'm going to show on screen today are really just them doing their testing and the test net with the test storage and you can hear axel ringing my bell right now because he might want to go potty but i just took him out but anyway uh yeah so you guys will probably get yours by the time the project is live and you're going to see more storage the numbers that we're going to showcase on screen today are going to be what we have from participating early and the test net so obviously these numbers when the project goes live are going to be greater and much better but i actually like what i'm seeing so far with just little itty bitty itty bitty trial time with these devices so with that said let's jump on over and take a look at uh how things are going right now all right so first off i want to start the video by looking at the price of sc prime the scp token that we are earning with our exa miners when we first started covering and we were waiting for ours and we did our unboxing the sc prime token was at 65 cents and now is currently sitting at a dollar oh two that's some very very good signs to see moving forward because right now we know that there's a low market cap there's not a lot of investors or a lot not a lot of money in the pool right now they haven't done any marketing or any promotion other than getting these miners out and you know stuff that i'm doing on my channel and the trade volume is low they're only on like two exchanges south exchange and then one other so there's really not a lot going on there because this project hasn't taken off yet so i still i'm excited to see that it's pretty much almost doubled in price since we started covering the project the pro bleh, bleh, bleh the project uh and now we're sitting at a dollar two and i with the coin being only at what like 46.4 like 46 and a half million tokens uh we're gonna in total supply of 55 million tokens we're gonna see some high quality prices on this so, no financial advice none of that stuff. <laughs> but this is definitely a token that I'm going to hold and grab and I'm going to earn and mine and keep my holdings as I watch this price skyrocket. You know, you've seen stuff like Filecoin and other projects have much higher uh, price on their tokens because they've been around a lot longer. But as this project comes out and explodes, we are going to see some. Mwah! When's the moon? What color is your Lambo, bro? <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're going to be getting. I'm very, very excited not to put that in a negative light. Now, let's take a gander at my dashboard my settings here all right so we have got our 64 terabyte miner going that comes with four 16 terabyte graphics cards we've got you know partial rebate we've talked about that before on the channel we've currently got 3.323 uh or 3.3 thousand scp tokens sitting on our miner we do have them locked up not locked up i can withdraw them anytime but we do have them hanging out to cover for contract collateral which in a later video as they redistribute more information on collateral uh we will cover that in the near future so you're going to want to stay tuned to that as we open that up but you're looking at here as of right now with this uh currently going and i believe we've had it chugging along for the past week we currently have an income expected of about 3.05 
uh, SCP, and we're going to take a look at some of the contract stuff on the other side here in just a moment. But that's currently valued at three dollars and twelve cents. I mean, that's not you know nothing to shake a stick at at the moment because we did spend thirty five hundred dollars on this device, but we've already seen some generation going, and I believe this gets paid out like as contracts are completed. Up here in the top, you can see contracts. We've got active. We got five active contracts. We have three that have been successful that are successfully chugging along. Uh, collateral wise, we've got 1.7 out of our 3.2 thousand uh, SCP locked, and we are risking 1.9. So in case we're unable to successfully complete the contract, which we'll talk about here in just a second on the next screen for some parameters that requirements to have that contract going. We are risking right now 1.9 for our collateral to go through. And again, we're going to break all that down in another video with more information, more informed information that's going to really, really help cover the project. And then, of course, since you if you did purchase at that or if you were able to purchase at the original time, I believe the rebate stuff is going to change around based. But since I got mine um, at the 3500 before any of that changes were made, I'm getting 42.5 percent back uh remaining left so up here was just you know some of the stuff but i have the remaining three rebate schedules to cover that 42 and a half which was i believe like 1500 and uh so these are the payout schedules and this is they do it over the course of a year because they want you to actively have your minor mining they don't want you just to buy the miner and then flip it and put it on ebay or just buy it and have it sit there or anything like that you have to have it actively mining throughout the course of the year to get that rebate back and you get that paid out in the scp token all right so let's look at our statistics screen right here all right so mm, axe out cut it out all right so we are gonna have to move myself around right now last time we did the video we had about 31 megabytes we had about 120 megabytes um of our storage being used jingle freaking bells He's a puppy. I shouldn't be mad. So we had about 120 megabytes locked up uh, in storage being utilized. As of right now, we've got, I'm just going to do, uh, I'll do the actual, you know, the actual numbers right now. Just, just because, just because. So right now we've got 262 gigabytes currently uh, being utilized on the storage of our device. So it's very nice to see with it just being currently on the test net that there is that activity right now. Here, as we move down, you've got your network throughput and kind of what's going in and out. And you can see right here the storage throughput, the some of the stuff on your network as of right now, looking at like 763 kilobits, dropping it down here to 441 kilobits for today's date. So this is kind of like the bandwidth and stuff that you're going to be using and keep a track on, track on as things go in and out. You got all your temperatures and blah, blah, blah. Let's move my face on over here so we can like take a look at these numbers on this screen now you could see here where our status is online we are accepting contracts and the last scan was a minute ago but our uptime is 91 point 91 point or 90 yeah, 91.8 percent of the time i believe is a good at let's just say 92 percent of the time in order to qualify for incentives and mining rewards and contract agreements you have to be up about 94 percent of the time for some reason mine uh just went down yesterday and i had a power flicker earlier today and it went down and it went down two days ago like not necessarily the machine going down but it just it was just sitting there so i went and did a quick reset on it and it fired back up so unfortunately not due to anything that i am preventing i just i guess need to pay attention a little bit more um the machine has been down when I want that target of being up 94% of the time. So we got some leg room to work on there. Moving over here into some of the rewards we are looking at last month. Of course, we haven't had any numbers last month, but this is kind of a guesstimation on based on the contracts that I have and the value of those contracts and what I could start potentially calculating that I'm going to be earning for this month. And right now we're looking at for compliance, making sure we're up 94% of the time, 6.3319 um, SCP for free capacity. They do have that incentive program to have your device always running and they are paying out, I believe, up to 10 terabytes for having unused space and use space. So right now we are looking at just from our free capacity, 0.3911 SCP. And just from our used capacity, we're looking at 4.8883 SCP. So over the long haul, we are looking at about 12 SCP, 13 SCP, just at these current numbers with just how minimum of our space is being used and with the contracts that we currently do have being utilized and you can see s here's some of the contract parameters and i wonder if this is going to be uh the, the the contracts overall instead of having various different contracts with different parameters and reward scales are all going to stick to a similar contract structure and i guess that's what they're going to be uh promoting and paying out when they start getting these contracts for big companies but the storage price you're looking at um you're getting it per terabyte you're getting 15 
SCP a month per terabyte being utilized for collateral. Um, I believe what you'd be utilizing and risking and locking up and blah, 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 16.9. Bandwidth price, you're gonna be looking at three SCP per terabyte that's being downloaded, 2.5. SCP per terabyte that's being uploaded. Max duration is at nine, and then to have that contract go through, you at least need .005, which you would see on the transfer transaction screen in the back end. So let's just kind of do some stupid numbers, and just in case I'm reading this correctly, we currently have the 64 terabytes, so let's say the 64 terabytes are completely utilized and filled up. So just alone right there, 64 terabytes on a one month scale, we'll just do this contract and subtract a week and do it by double. So this is what this contract parameters could be worth so we're looking at 64 times 15 which would be 960 over the course of that eight week time frame um, it would be two months so just on the SCP just on utilizing all of your storage alone that would be 1920 SCP which if it's at a dollar two that's a, just shy of about two thousand um, dollars and then you can also calculate in all the other prices here and that's if you are completely filled up but if you were able to get your hands on, and we're just looking at the top number, we're not gonna talk about collateral and add in the download upload bandwidth, because that's just a spreadsheet and all a bunch of math to do on this one calculator. But if you guys get that 16 terabyte device and you've got the 15 locked up, it's fully 15, 240 for that parameter for the two months, you're gonna be looking at 480 on that contract. So I believe if I've got three contracts going and to fill up and they're all the same, I believe that's what the numbers are gonna look at. Obviously, we're gonna have more information in about three weeks as the project actually goes live and we see more of our storage be utilized. Jingle freaking bells, man. Jingle bells, we get it, Axel. Stop it. He's not gonna listen to me like copper would. But yeah, that's just to my understanding on that in information there so very very excited to go with this my big concern and what i need to do is make sure that i keep the uptime up as much as possible so i have to do a little bit more due diligence of logging into the device you know right now i'm logged in on my pc but since my mobile device is in the same network that my examiner is on i could probably pull this up mobily as well to keep track of it and i can give a reboot or a restart or anything along those lines Anywho, that's going to do it for me today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me on Discord or Twitter. Links for that stuff is in the description. Don't forget, we do have our giveaway for the EU Mary IoT. Make sure you follow the instructions on the link in the description. And also, if you want to research more into the project or stuff like that, or get on the wait list or get your orders going, whatever, blah, 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 links for that is in the description as well. I encourage you to jump over, check it out, get on board. This is ground-level stuff. Very excited for what this miner has to offer and the gains that we are going to make in 2022 let's all do it together give a shout out in the comments if you are able to get your hands on one or you're waiting for shipping or anything like that otherwise like comment subscribe turn on the bell notification all that good stuff i'm oprice and we'll see you guys next time oh these things yeah no because uh because i'm a masochist and because i like self-torture i found these when i was christmas shopping and i just had to buy them um so I wanted to show them off and show you that I am a glutton for punishment and pain. So hopefully 2022 is Giants year. Big Blue!